the regulations that mandate harmful emissions be reduced under the Clean Air Act. And yet power plants supplied by General Electric, one of Barack Obama's biggest campaign contributors, have received an EPA waiver and will not be subject to the new regulations. The new rules will exacerbate the problem of rolling blackouts, warns Donna Nelson, head of the Texas Public Utility Commission. Nelson said, quote, I have no doubt in my mind that this rule will result in reliability issues and rolling outages in Texas. Obama's strict enforcement of draconian EPA regulations has led to new clean-burning coal-fired plants being mothballed and other existing ones being shut down, which has in turn led to Texas and other states becoming energy dependent. All of this, of course, will lead to significantly higher utility bills for U.S. citizens who are being assaulted with more and more expenses even as the threat of a double-dip recession lowers living standards. There you go. That's a report from three years ago. Now, not much has changed, has it? We still see Obama's war on coal-fired plants. We also see that uh, just as he did, it's a, a, an app analogy, isn't it, when the Daily Beast says it's Obamacare for the atmosphere, because just as Alex Jones reported three years ago, he was giving his corporate buddies, his crony capitalist friends, waivers from these regulations. Just as he gave people that he wanted the corporations that he liked, he gave them waivers from Obamacare, arbitrarily moving the deadlines around to make sure that the voters didn't make the connections before the elections, but after the elections. Now, in this story from The New American, written by William Jasper, uh, they point out again, this, let me read this quote one more time to you. This is from the Daily Beast. They said it's Obamacare for the atmosphere, numbingly complex, but still flexible and fair, based on a market system and likely to transform a key sector of the economy for decades to come. Exactly. You know what? There is nothing that affects not only your prosperity, but your standard of living and even the length of your life than cheap available energy. Now, as he points out in this article in the New American, he says, is it based on a market system? This is what he says, perhaps a fascist corporate state market system in which politically connected companies reap huge cap and trade profits, certainly not a free market system. For the longest time, the globalists have been looking to replace their central banking fiat currency schemes, their national debt schemes, they've been looking to replace that with some kind of an energy uh, scheme, some way where we have to pay them, not for the privilege of having money in circulation. You know, we pay debt to our privately owned Federal Reserve System, which cannot even be audited by our own elected representatives. They're immune from even having the books open. We've been paying them for the privilege of printing money. Now we're going to pay another private cartel, global cartel. We're going to now pay them an indulgence to be able to use energy. They call it a global carbon tax. And you know, even the people who believe that we have global warming, I'm a skeptic of that. We see that the data does not prove that. We see that their models say that as CO2 was, was to rise, that we would have a commensurate rise in global temperatures. That hasn't happened. We've seen the CO2 rise. We've seen that the temperatures have not risen. And so their model is broken. But even those people, many environmentalists who believe that there is man-made global warming and that it is due to carbon dioxide, even those people don't see as any kind of a solution sending all of your money to Al Gore anytime you use a little bit of energy. That's not a solution. That's feudalism. It's not environmentalism. It's feudalism on steroids. It's worse than the central banks. You know, they're trying to support this. Uh, even the EPA has become, uh, well, even the EPA, of course, the EPA. The EPA has become the biggest cheerleader for this. It says, learn about carbon pollution from power plants. They have a page on their website where they're talking about rising global temperatures isn't happening. Rising sea level isn't happening. Changes in weather and precipitation patterns, that isn't really happening either. Changes in ecosystems, habitats, and species diversity. Look, weather is always in a state of flux. It is always changing. But if you look at the long-term trends, it doesn't support their data. Even Canada is cracking down and telling the weathermen not to talk about climate change. We saw this at the American Meteorological Association in Austin last year. 
We saw the weathermen were actually doing real science. They had real models. They were trying to protect, predict things a couple of days in advance, but the climate scientists predicting things out decades away, centuries away. Their models can't be tested. They're baloney. We're going to be right back taking your calls. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95. But today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show I'm David Knight I'm just looking at the Drudge Report And he's got an article up here A poll says that Obama is less competent than Bush That's what the American people think Well, that's getting down there, isn't it? That's, <laughs> that's getting really low uh, where is that on the Jimmy Carter scale? I don't know, but it's it's getting really bad. Uh, we've been taking your calls on the one-year anniversary of the Snowden documents. Uh, what do you think that means? Is he a traitor or is he a hero? 
And how are we going to rein our government in to obey the law? Because in my opinion, I think what he did was he exposed, like many whistleblowers frequently take a rap for, he exposed, exposed criminal actions by our government. He didn't give away any secrets that other spy agencies didn't already know about, that terrorists didn't know about. What he did was he showed the American people that they are the targets of their own government. He's exposed a secret shadow government that is operating outside of the law, unaccountable to the law. And we see that being done openly by Obama. Let's take some of your comments. Uh, Michael in Oregon. Michael? Hey, David. I had two things to say. One, I think you are a great host. I mean, Alex is Alex, and you are you, and you do a great job, and I I Thanks. think you do awesome, so I wanted to say that. And secondly, I just wanted to give you guys a follow-up. Last week, I did call Greg Walden and Ron Wyden, my two senators in Oregon, told them, you know, I was complaining about Bilderberg and the Logan Act, and, you know, you guys have a duty to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And and their uh, funky people just said, well, I'll pass on the message. <laughs> Ed Blumenauer, uh, his office actually told me this, and I'm quoting, the government can do whatever we want to do, close quote, and then hung up on me. Huh. And I really, he's a representative, uh, and I find that very disconcerting. And uh, yeah. I just wanted you to know, you know, yeah. it's crazy that they don't care what we say. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, and, and give everybody in Washington his name again. Uh, uh, there's Ed Blumenauer. Ed he's Blumenauer. He's a representative that just does not care. And then there yeah. is Walt, Greg Walden and Ron Wyden, and they just don't. I oh, think yeah. don't seem to care. It's always I'll pass on the message. It's like, well, I don't want yeah. it. I don't want you to pass on the message. I want a response. That's right. They don't care. That's right. Yeah, they won't respond to you. But it is still important to call them up. But uh, that response that we're the government and we'll do whatever we want to isn't that the message that we've gotten over this uh, over the Snowden leaks? Absolutely, Absolutely unrepentant about any of their criminal actions being exposed. Like I mentioned before, when we were abroad, when we were in Copenhagen reporting on Bilderberg, seeing this story out of the UK that uh, some whistleblower had reported this atrocious treatment of children and seniors, and yet the response was not to do anything, not to correct that, but to fire that guy. I mean, that's what we expect from them, actually. You know, I, again, it's that quote uh, that Richard Nixon said, when the president does it, that means it isn't illegal. And that's what they're saying. We're the government. We can do whatever we wish. That's, that's very sad. Thank you for letting us know that. Uh, let's go to Stephen in Arizona. You wanted to talk about the NSA? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, he's no longer with us. How about Darcy in Canada? Darcy. Hello, David. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Hi, David. Uh, I wanted to talk quickly about, um, well, with regard to the Snowden leaks, um, if, you know, if they are or were orchestrated uh, through government channels, the chilling effect is real, uh, because I tell you, even getting the nerve to call in the InfoWars, I've been a listener for about six years, and, uh, you know, I've wanted to call in. It's it's difficult to get up that nerve, and, and it's, it's through knowing and reading these NSA documents that were leaked by Snowden. Um, that you know, it actually accentuates that uh, that nervousness, that chilling effect. So, mm -hmm. on that note, um, uh, I've got a couple things that I want to mention. I thought were important uh, ways that we can keep our communications line uh, the lines open, um, and it involves uh, something called PSK thirty one, and uh, what it is is a digital mode over shortwave radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can actually send out reports that operate much like a, a chat room. Uh, you can dial into a, a, a small area of bandwidth uh, between 2 and 30 megahertz on the shortwave band. And, uh, and it really, really is an effective way to keep your communications up. Um, the other, uh, you know, is, is to look at, uh, you know, things such as uh, Debian Linux. You're able to uh, encrypt a hard drive. Mm -hmm. uh, with 250 bit, uh, 256 bit encryption, uh, which which allows you to uh, to you know, it, it doesn't mean that your data is going to be protected, uh, but you know, in my case, I'm running a dual booted Linux and uh, and Windows. Hang on, we got to go to a break, but I want to get some more information from you uh, for the audience about PSK31. You said it's a digital mode over shortwave. I want to get that unpacked a little bit for the audience because that's. 
What some of the people today are doing, celebrating the one-year anniversary of the Snowden documents, they're saying, reset the net. We need to take some individual action for our own privacy as we act collectively. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire.